everyone, Spino here, and today I am pleased to announce the long-awaited release of version 2.0 of my F-15 EX mod. It's been a long time in coming, and there have been a lot of setbacks, but I'm glad that we're finally to the point now where I can confidently say that this mod is ready for you guys to try out. So, with all that being said, before we get into the features of version 2.0 and what the changes from 1.8.7, which was the last release, I'd like to thank all the people who helped me with this project because there has been some absolutely invaluable input here. I'd like to thank AWAX Bandog and Vazzy for creating the liveries for this mod, as well as Current Hill for helping me with the weapons code. I'd like to thank you Solo for the cockpit model. You did an outstanding job there, much better than I could have ever done. I'd like to thank my beta testers, Jetson, Emerald 467, and Tyrant, as well as the winners of the screenshot competition, Zamoski, Jakku, and Smoke, and all of the participants of the screenshot competition. For those of you who don't know, I held a screenshot competition to basically get some new screenshots for the menu theme for the F-15EX, and you'll see some of those flashing across your, your screen right about now. They are some fabulous screenshots. We had a lot of people participate, and I had a really hard time deciding what was going to make the cut and what wasn't, because it was all so good. And I'd also like to thank Ventor Z, who has his own channel, I'll link to it in the video description, for helping me with the cinematic that you saw at the beginning of this video. Now with all that being said, let's get into the features of version 2.0. So of course we have the new cockpit here. Um, there's really nothing new to show on that front. Whatever you saw the last time, it has not changed. Um, we've got some uh, some improvements from some of the earlier iterations for sure, though, with some different colored gauges and displays, and of course the HSI or compass rows integrated with the RWR. And other than that, well, that's basically all I have to show for the cockpit, other than the back seat. So, as you can see here, we've got an animated Wizzo in the back seat. That's very nice. And that is something that you do not see in Musolo's F-15X cockpit mod that has been out for a while now. That essentially replaces the stock F-15 Charlie cockpit model. If you look back there, you see basically just the back of the canopy deck there there's no back seat modeled or anything like that so this is actually appropriate for the f-15 ex now let's go ahead and talk about some things that uh have come up over the past few months really um i've heard people asking multiple times if this back seat means that you can have multiplayer or multi-crew or can control the aircraft from that back seat? The answer to all those is no, absolutely not. This is a Flaming Cliffs 3 based air aircraft. It uses the F-15 Charlie avionics at the end of the day and it does not have an EFM either. It has the F-15's professional flight model instead of an external flight model, a custom one. So both of those things combine to mean that you cannot have multi-crew because you have to have standalone avionics and you have to have an EFM for multi-crew to work. Otherwise, you're limited to front seat only, which is honestly quite fine with me because the F-15 EX is intended mostly to be flown from the front seat anyway. It is that back seat in the F-15 EX is essentially optional going to climb above these clouds real quick. So you do need the F-15 Charlie in order for this mod to work at a minimum, or Flaming Cliffs 3 or Flaming Cliffs 2024, either of those. Um, 
But yeah, that's about all I have to say on that front. So of course you get the AIM-260 JATAM here, as well as AIM-9X Block 2 Plus. And if you happen to have Current Hill's AIM-174 mod installed, then you can also use that on four stations, so you can carry a total of four of them. And uh, if you don't, then it will just show up as being able to load AIM-120 Bravos on those stations as well. Well, I do not recommend that you take that load out, though. So, that essentially covers most of the features of the F-15EX version 2.0. Pretty much everything else is essentially the same, aside from the MOS fairings, of course. Um, those have been worked on substantially with new textures and things like that, and I've also improved textures of the AIM-260 and some other stuff here and there. But otherwise, it's going to perform very much the same as version 1.8.7. I'm actually going to dip below these clouds here because they're getting a little on the high side. I think my wingman has already had that exact same idea. So you can see here we have animated mirrors in the cockpit. There we go. So there's your animated mirrors. We've got a different HUD um, frame there. And we've got the large area display, of course, and that pretty much covers it. So, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy this mod and you think I deserve the support. And I would like to thank all of my current subscribers as well for all their support. It's been a really amazing journey with you guys, and just thank you, thank you all. So, with all that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I certainly hope you enjoy the F-15EX mod. Stay safe and check 6. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.